hello everyone today we will discuss about two dimensional viewing and clipping in computer graphics we have discussed here about world coordinate system which is wcs the viewing coordinate system vcs and normalization device coordinate system ndcs the normalization device coordinate system means to transform the real world into your uh, viewing device which can be mobile or uh, the laptop transforming the real world environment or the image into the ratio of your mobile or computer display is known as normalization device coordinate system you can have a snap of this page for a small question Here we have discussed about NDCS and the working window. The definition of working window is also important for your examinations. Have a snap of this page. Now, the clipping. What is clipping? Clipping means to cut. Here we have our whole world window then we have our selected window in the viewpoint section we need to just view this point if from here we need to clip some selected areas is known as clipping from this whole picture we have clipped this section only now window to viewpoint mapping here we have discussed about window to viewpoint mapping that means the whole window converted to our viewing points to map in our display here we have some formulas you can have a snap of this page Now, in this clipping section, we have point clipping. Point clipping follows this formula, x, the value of x. Here we have point P3, P2 and P1. In this P2, we have two values, x and y. If the value of x is inside the minimum value of x from to the maximum value of x, and if the y is in the minimum to the maximum section of y, this P is inside this region and if one of these value here in P1 the Y is not in this range and here the X value is not in this range that is why P3 and P1 are outside of this re selected region here if we clip this we will get only P2 and P1 and P3 will be lifted this one is known as point clipping now the line clipping in this line clipping section we have our formula where we have selected regions we have x minimum and y minimum here and x maximum and y maximum here we need to clip the lines first of all we need to divide the sections into some point in the middle section we have 0 0 0 0 here we have TB RL that means top bottom right and then left here the top value is 1 and all values are 0 here the bottom value is 1 and all others are 0 here top is 1 bottom is 0 it is on the right side that is why it is 1 and another one is a 0 and so on all are calculated here we can apply this algorithm which is known as the chosen Sutherland algorithm by this chosen Sutherland algorithm we can have only selected lines that means if the line lies in the 0 to 0 0 0 section then the line will be in the inside and if it is an other component then it will be outside what if 
the, uh, is the line is from the inside to the outside or outside to the inside then we will go for this con condition we will take two values suppose the line is moving from this side to this side then we will take the 0 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 0 we will do a, an operation between them and then if it turns to 0 0 then we will just clip the inner sections and left the outer section now the midpoint section in this midpoint section we have this algorithm is written here that how the midpoints works first of all we need to divide them into midpoints if the midpoints is inside we will clip that and if it on the outside we will left this that is how the midpoint subdivision algorithm works now the Sutherland Hogman algorithm. Here we have discussed about the Sutherland Hogman algorithm. The Sutherland Hogman algorithm is quite similar to the Tuzan Sutherland algorithm. The steps of this algorithm is written here. You can have a snap of this one. Thus, Weather algorithm is very important for an examination question point of view. Here we have all the steps how to do the Wheeler algorithm. You can have a snap of this please. This algorithm is very Im ex important for an examination question point of view. That's for today. Thank you.